Hi, I'm Adam from Fun, and today we will be watching quarterfinals match 3-1 from the Sunshine Showdown Signature event, where Team 64411B, E is Greater Than You, and 1523W Washington football team face off against Teams 8682A Apollo and 39792E Echo Aviators. In this match, we will see how these teams utilize the center goals to put themselves in advantageous positions and take control of the match. While you're watching this video, try and see how these teams decide when it is the right time to score on the center goals. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Build your alliance and discover why so many VEX alumni choose Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu slash VEX to learn more about their incredible programs and get more information. Did you know that Fun has awesome merch options including game theme merch available at funroboticsnetwork.com slash merch? From cute thematic options to robots and fun themed apparel, you can directly support Fun and look good at the same time. You can also become a Fun member or supporter through YouTube Join to get early access to most of our content. Thank you for your continued support. Jumping into this match on the Red Alliance, we have 1523W starting on the left and their partner B is greater than U starting on the right. On the Blue Alliance, we have 8682A starting on the left and their partner Echo Aviator starting on the right. So going into the autonomous period, we're going to see autos where we'll see the Red Alliance playing a little bit on the center goal, uh, but mostly really focusing on those long goals, whereas we'll see the Blue Alliance focusing a little bit more on that center goal control. So we'll see at the end of auto here, they kind of push out a couple of those red blocks and uh, the blue alliance ends up being up on those center goals, but the red alliance is actually gonna take the autonomous bonus because of those long goal bonus control zones being worth a little bit more. So the red alliance will be going into this match with the autonomous bonus. And if we look at the team starting on this kind of like top side of the field here, we'll see that B is greater than U is actually gonna try to fight uh, this center control that the that A682A has because they don't want A682A to have that pressure that's going to kind of force them off of that long goal at the start. So they're going to kind of immediately go for a little bit of this uh, center goal control, whereas A682A is going to do the opposite and they're actually going to switch over and try to go for some of this long goal control uh, to kind of capitalize off of what B is greater than U is going to do. So we can go ahead and watch that happen, and we'll see here, A682A immediately goes for the match loader, while B is greater than U is going to get only one block scored before they realize that they're going to immediately need to try and go and stop A682A from scoring. But A682A is going to get that score off, followed by a D score, which is actually going to give them some of that long goal control. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back here for a second. So right here, A682A has this uh, far long goal in a very good position where they have one block in the uh, control zone in the center and then only one more block on the outside which is going to make this goal very difficult for B is greater than U to D score and take control of without them scoring a couple blocks but they know that 8682A especially with that under goal robot is going to be very difficult to score on so they're going to immediately we can see they've already kind of left here and they're going to try and grab some blocks to score into the center goal which they're hoping is going to force 8682A to try and fight for that goal back because they know that they're down auto, so they really need to try and fight for that center goal control, which will hopefully give E is greater than U an opening to score on that uh, long goal and get control of that back. So having center goals is really like a tool to take back the long goals because it forces your opponents to stop defending you because if they just play defense against a good team, it's going to be very, very difficult to take control of a long goal while they're fo focusing 100% on defense. So you really want to try and get them to have to leave to try and take control of a center goal, which will give you an opening. And that's exactly what B is greater than you attempts to do here. So we can watch that, and they're going to go for a score right over here. But 8682A actually notices that they're doing this, and so they... Uh, don't bother with the defense, but instead they go and grab some blocks of their own to immediately counter score against B is greater than U. So this is going to allow them to uh, take control of that center goal back. So I'll go ahead and jump back right here. So at this point in time, um, 8682A kind of got that goal back, that top center goal back by uh, doing that score. And their hope there is that... Uh, 
if they can just fight this and kind of keep uh, B is greater than you busy on these center goals, then they're not going to be able to achieve their goal of using an opening to go and score on, take back that long goal. And but we'll see right here, uh, B is greater than you actually has a very effective uh, mechanism. They have like a piston hood kind of that allows them to de-score the top center goal very effectively. So we can watch them do that here. They'll get a really nice de-score off and then uh, there's a slight disconnect uh, on all four robots there, but it doesn't affect too much on the match here. So we just keep watching here. So right here, something interesting happens. So right here, we notice that um, B is greater than U is kind of getting control back, but they've really not been uh, very effective in achieving their goal of taking center goal control and forcing 8682 off of that long goal to get control back. So their partner here notices that they really are in a good position on this closer long goal here, where they have three blocks scored and the Blue Alliance robot is still collecting blocks over here, so they really have a little bit of time before they really need to try and uh, have a, give immediate attention to this closer long goal to keep control of it. And they're in a really good spot, so they use that extra time that they have to go ahead and try to help out B is greater than you to get control of this center goal. So they go and grab some blocks, and we'll see that 1523W here is going to go for a, a score on the center goal as well. And so the center goal kind of becomes a 2v1 uh, with the Red Alliance both going against 8682A. So they're kind of able to get some more control there. And then we'll see that B is greater than you actually get stuck on a block here, which gives 8682A a perfect opportunity to just uh, pretty much, they just go crazy on the center goal here. They get uh, tons of blocks scored in there. Uh, which is gonna put the Red Alliance in a very tricky position where they're very clearly down at this point in time So it's really not looking good for the Red Alliance here, but I'm gonna jump back to right here We can see that B is greater than you actually got off of their block and so now At this position the Blue Alliance is up on three of these goals and uh, Thankfully for the Red Alliance they finally got unstuck and so they're going to go for just both robots are going to focus on these center goals. So both 1523W and B is greater than U are going to both score one on the top, one on the bottom, which is going to give them control of this center goal back, which is going to put them in a better position where now 8682A is stressing because they're down auto and three of the goals. And they're going to have to try and make up that lead within a very short period of time. So we can see that happen right here. B is greater than U scores on the bottom center while 1523W scores on the top. Then 1523W switches to focusing on the long goal while B is greater than U really just has to try and keep these center goals as even as possible in this final uh, little bit of a fight here with A6A2A. And then we'll see right here at the end, both robots are gonna go for a park. So I'll jump to the end of the match here. So, Let's see right here oh. right here yeah so this match overall was a lot of back and forth and a lot of fighting for the center goals but i think some of the key takeaways here are uh how these teams were focusing on the center goal to try and use it as a tool and they also kind of did the inverse with the long goal so we saw a little bit later in the match 1523w used the fact that they had control of the long goal to help out a little bit with that center goal uh, which allowed them to take control of that and ended up turning the match around uh, in their favor to win. So that was a really big play by the Red Alliance there. And 8682A did a great job at keeping control. They kept control of the long goal for actually the entire match over here. It never changed after they got control of it. Um, it looked exactly the same at the end of the match. And that was just because they were able to keep B is greater than U uh, completely busy on this center goal. So a few things that I think these alliances could have done a little bit different is I think B is greater than U. They had a few times throughout this match where they had control of the center goals. And I think they would have had, even with the pressure that 8682A had, I think they could have uh, played off of that pressure a little bit to try and take control of this long goal back, which would have made the end game a little bit less stressful 
as they wouldn't have been in a constant switching battle that really, if the match ended a couple seconds early, would have ended up with them losing. So uh, by playing that long goal a little bit smarter, uh, by using that control that they were able to gain at a few points from the center goal, uh, would have benefited them a lot. Another thing is that the Blue Alliance, uh, they really needed to try and take control of this uh, bottom long goal. They had control of the center goals for the vast majority of this match, and I think they could have played off of that to get those long goals. The center goals are kind of like a temporary possession because they can switch very quickly, but the long goals tend to be a little bit more permanent. Uh, when they're in a position where there's only a couple balls in the center and nothing else scored, it's very hard to change those long goals, and they're a little bit more permanent points. So had the blue, yeah, had the blue alliance played off of their kind of temporary possession in the center goals, that the red alliance had multiple points where they were both focusing on that. I think they had plenty of opportunity to try and take control of those long goals, or potentially just put pressure on the long goals, which would have allowed them to have more of a commanding lead on the center goals. It ended up being a fairly close match, 18 points, um, but that with that is like an auto swing or a control zone swing. So I think both alliances could have played this match a little bit differently, uh, but overall it was a great match with tons of twists and turns, and I think a lot of very good takeaways on how you can play center goals and long goals to try and take even more control over the field. That was an extremely intense match that showcased some very effective strategies. I'm interested to see how teams will adapt to strategies that focus more on the center goals. Let us know in the comments where you think that the meta is going next. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Fun to keep up with all of our content. I'm Adam and thank you for watching this episode of Funalysis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interests, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu vex.